Jerusalem, home to several sites of the key importance and holiness of the three worldwide religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. Thanks to the city's long 5,000-year history, you can constantly discover something new here. Not only the old city center with a traditional market full of colorful shops, but also the surrounding area is full of ancient and breathtaking attractions. The ancient walled old city of Jerusalem is traditionally divided into four uneven sectors, Jewish, Christian, Armenian, and the largest and most populous Muslim quarter. The fifth area situated behind the defensive walls is the Temple Mount, also known as the Haram al sharif and is one of the world's holiest sanctuaries and one of the most contested religious sites on the earth, with a deep significance for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. This is where Abraham, the father of all three monotheistic religions, is said to have offered his son as a sacrifice to God, where Solomon built the first temple for the Ark of the Covenant, and where the Prophet Muhammad is said to have ascended to heaven during the early years of Islam's preaching. It is the highlight of a tour to see the Dome of the Rock with its iconic golden dome glistening in the sun. Another must-see place is the Western Wall, often known as the Wailing Wall, the holiest site in Judaism. In the first century BC, Herod the Great began the expansion of the Second Jewish Temple. Although the Romans destroyed the temple in 70 AD, this famous segment of the wall is still standing. With an almost 300-year-old tradition, its visitors place slips of paper containing written prayers into the crevices of the huge white rock wall. If you want to experience the rout of Jesus after he was condemned and walked towards his execution, visit Via Dolorosa. For most Christian visitors, this place is the most important part of their journey to the Holy Land. A round 600-meter walk begins in the Muslim quarter of the Old City and has 14 stations of the cross. The last five stations are at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It is believed to be the place where Jesus was crucified, buried, and later resurrected. Right after entering the church, you can touch the Stone of Anointing, also called the Stone of Unction. According to the Christian tradition, it is a slab where the body of Jesus was prepared for burial. Looking at the Edekiel Shrine, where Jesus' empty tomb lies, will surely send shivers down your spine. The church interior is a spectacularly beautiful piece of sacral architecture and contains various holy relics. When visiting Jerusalem, do not miss the unique Yad Vashem, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center. This huge complex has both scientific study facilities and several monuments, memorials, and museums. Therefore, reserve at least one day for the tour. There is also the new Yad Vashem Holocaust Museum that opened in 2005. It is shaped like a triangle concrete prison that cuts through the landscape. The building consists of a corridor connected to 10 exhibition halls of interactive historical displays. These include photographs, films, documents, letters, artwork, and personal items found in camps and ghettos. The museum leads into the Hall of Names, the memorial to the six million Jews who were murdered during the Holocaust. On the upper cone is a display featuring 600 photographs of Holocaust victims and fragments of pages of testimony. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, leave a comment, give a like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.